what is up guys welcome back to life on the wrist hope you guys are doing well today we're gonna be doing a little talking watches episode of my own here and we're gonna talk about a watch that i did cover in a video that uh, was posted on hood and key and that is this um, elgin pocket watch that was a gift uh, from uh, to my great grandfather on his um, on his graduation from high school. And this pocket watch really started a tradition in my family where every single time um, someone graduated from high school, they were gifted a watch. And so what I thought I'd do is I kind of give you some information about this watch, show you show you the watch up close in person. So I'll flip the perspective so you can actually see it um, because this is a very special watch to, to my family. I did say that this, it, it, there is a Hodinki video where I talk about this in their little um, watch stories. Um, series and, and I kind of talk about this pocket watch and then I also talk about this talk horror. I can sh I'll show you guys this watch as well, but this is basically um, the, the watch that I was gifted when I graduated from high school and it stemmed from this pocket watch right here. Um, so I'm not going to, to, to ramble on anymore. Let me let me flip perspective so I can um, give you guys a, a close look at this uh, really beautiful Elgin pocket watch. All right, so welcome to the video where we're gonna be talking about this uh, pocket watch that really was the um, the start of a tradition in my family. Um, so like I said, this watch was actually um, a, belonged to my great grandfather, my father's uh, grandfather. And this was actually his, um, his first, you can see written here, this is his first watch and chain. This was actually a gift to him when he graduated from high school. Um, in 1934 and this uh, Tag Heuer is actually the continuation of this tradition that I received from my um, high school graduation um, so this I'll show you guys this watch um, a little bit uh, later but I'll focus on this one for, for now and so you can see it comes in this little box it's nothing nothing special um, and then on the top here um, this is a message from my grandfather and he kind of wrote this was his first watch and chain um, that he got from his dad um, when, he, when he graduated from high school. And so it's in this little pouch here. It was serviced recently. And there's a really cool message on the, on the bottom of this that says that his graduation was in 1934. I'm not gonna show it just because it has some personal information. So um, this is the box that it comes in. And then this is a little pouch when we got it serviced um, that, that the, um, the pocket watch actually was just given to us in. So we decided just to just to keep that, I'll put that right there for here. And then there's some service papers in here. I'm gonna just look at them um, just to see. Uh, I know that there's some personal information on here as well, so I'm not gonna share that, but um, basically it was serviced um, just to ensure that it was, um, you know, back in, in working condition. Cause I think some of the oils had, had kind of seized up. Um, so I'll put this just back in here before we get into this pocket watch. Um, so this is the, the pocket watch here, and so it's an Elgin pocket watch. Um, I actually haven't wound it, and it comes on this really beautiful gold chain. Um, I really love the dial on this this watch. As you can see, it's it's got um, quite large um, hour numerals on it. Um, well, at least, at least quite large numerals um, in today's standard, but it's a really nice, uh, really beautiful size. If you look at the chain, you can see these, it's got these like thick links and then these kind of like chains that, that, add, that add to it. I actually haven't wound it yet, so I'm just gonna give it a quick wound, wind. Um, let's see it kind of start taking away. You can see it's now, now doing its thing here. And so, like I said, this is a pocket watch that was gifted to my great grandfather in 1934 for his graduation from high school. You can probably hear, hear it taken away there. Um, some of the, the key features of this is you can see it kind of has like a two-tone dial on the on that inner inner circle. It has this really beautiful finishing, which is um, a different kind of texture to the to the rest of the dial. You do see a little bit of spotting on the dial. Um, and then you have this really beautiful silver on that outside and you you have the 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 minutes um, Track around the outside and then a sub second style at six o'clock the hands Including the sub second dial are all blued steel so you can see a really nice blue hue to it there if We get get it captured by the light um, It really is a beautiful size. I mean if you put it on if you Put it on a wrist On a wrist. That's kind of the size that it's at this 
this Omega is 34 millimeters, so you can kind of gauge the size of it there. And if I just have it setting on the on my wrist there. Um, this is, a, it's a gold watch. I'm actually not sure what type of gold it is. I've never had it tested. It's just not been something that I've been interested in doing. Um, and then if you flip it over, you can see here, it's just a completely solid, solid case back. Um, I've never actually tried to open it to look at the movement just because it's, uh, I'd, I'd prefer not to do it with such an old watch like this. Um, it's crazy to think that this watch is, you know, this was gifted in 1934. Um, so you're looking at a watch that is a, is at least 80, 81, 86 years um, old, if my math right. Uh, so yeah, 60. So uh, really beautiful watch. And so this is the, that was kind of the, the start of the tradition. And then I have here, this is my, um, this is my Takori link here that was a gift from my graduation from high school. And I also mentioned this in the Hodenki video, but this is basically a Takahori Link Caliber uh, 16 chronograph. I, again, didn't wind this one, um, but this was my gift uh, when I graduated from high school. So if you really want to see the full story of, <laughs> of our tradition, this is kind of like this, the start, um, the start to um, really the, to where, to where I, I continued it. And so I hope to, to continue this tradition with, with um, my family. The watch is a little bit larger. This this tug wire. This was um, this this is a 44 millimeter case. If you look at it compared to this Omega, it's it's um, much larger. This watch is from the 70s, and then this watch is from from uh, 2013. It was when it was manufactured, and so um, runs off the caliber 16. Um, Takahori Caliber 16 uh, movement, which is um, a variation on, on the ETA on an ETA movement, but um, it's a really beautiful um, beautiful version of it, in my opinion. I think some people don't like modifications to ETA movements. They think it's um, most companies just uh, saving on, on margins, but um, I really like it. It is a little bit thicker. If you look at the thickness of this watch, it's, it's a little bit um, thicker. In, in diameter but um it's a it's a nice chronograph and um this will always have a special place in in my heart because it was f a gift from my parents for my graduation from graduation from high school and so um yeah this from the start to uh to kind of where we are now it's 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 so um, interesting to kind of have these two watches together and see um, kind of how far we've how far my family tradition has has come and it's not just for the for the men in, in the family, it also is a, a tradition for women as well. So, um, pretty pretty cool watch, and I'm glad I got to got to share this um, kind of story with you guys. Um, and so, um, yeah, I'll uh, flip back the uh, perspective so I can close up the video. Cool. So I hope you guys enjoyed looking at that this Elgin pocket watch. It really is a special watch for me. And it really started the tradition of my entire family's, um, you know, graduation from high school gifts. And that's kind of why it's really special for me. It's crazy to think that um, my my gift, the gift that my parents got me for my graduation from high school stemmed from something um, as uh, classic and simple as this watch right here. Um, and it's it's a, it's a real um, gift for me uh, that the, the tradition is continuing. Um, and, um, yeah, it's, it's just a really special, special um, watch for the history of my family, really. And so I'm really glad that I, I got to share it with you guys. Um, if you like these types of videos, um, be sure to let me know in the comments what you think about this pocket watch. And, and if you like these types of videos, I, I'll try and do some more if you're interested in them. Um, also, if you are new to the channel, be sure to hit the, that subscribe button and turn on the, the notifications so you're notified when we upload. And don't forget to smash a like button for us, it really does help us out. Um, helps out get these videos into the YouTube algorithm nicely. Um, and with that said guys, thank you so much for watching and until next time.